And then we uh, pick up in verse 19, where Gehazi is there. And uh, in Gehazi, we see here, this beginning to follow the path described in James chapter 1 of desire that uh, runs away, leads to sin, and brings about death. And for Gehazi, it seems to begin with the desires of greed and discontent. Look at verse 20, it says this, that the Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, the man of God, said to himself, my master was too easy on Naaman, this Aramean, by not accepting from him what he brought. As surely as the Lord lives, I will run after him and get something from him. Did you get that? Gehazi just saw Naaman healed of an incurable disease by jumping around in the river. And rather than responding in awe and worship of God, he decides, I deserve something out of this. That guy was just healed of leprosy, people. I mean, I, I did at least a, give me a, flick me a quarter, something. And it's like a little bit of redneck comes out of him and says, I'm going to get me something. And he wants to run after Naaman. And he wants to claim this reward because greed and discontent has taken over Gehazi's heart. He's no longer content to serve God and to serve Elisha. He wants the reward that was offered. Now, as a small groups pastor, I can tell part of Gehazi's problem. And it says it right here. He said to himself. He said to himself. So even though Gehazi was living with the other prophets in the school of prophets, he's living with Elisha. Uh, apparently, he's not really engaging in too much community here. He's in the crowd, but he's not really in community. And, uh, and, and I got to believe if he was really in community more, that somebody would have picked up on these things. They would have picked up on these, these desires brewing in him. Someone might have heard him, you know, making these plans and pulled him aside and said, listen, Gehazi, I'm no rocket scientist, but this is not a good idea. But he was not in a journey group. And so <laughs> no one was there to pull him aside. No one was there to, to smack him in the head and set him straight. And so that greed and discontent invaded his heart. 